Ooh, what hit for Kia is European Golden Boy. Well, the European Golden Boy, I should say, I guess. He also won this one, whatever that one is. World Under-21 Footballer of the Year. Oh, yes. And then European Golden Boy. At least we know that one. I'm not sure what the other one is. I, they're probably mostly exactly the same, right? But, uh, yeah, congrats to him. I mean, he's had a decent season, but, I don't know, 27 goals in 44 appearances. It's not overly amazing, but, uh, yeah, he won it. Congrats to him. So, uh, yeah, roll the intro, because today's going to be very exciting. Welcome back, you weirdos and all sorts. Are you crazy here with more Danish Dynamite? And uh, yeah, I hope you're excited. I'm definitely am. Today's some FA Cup drama, and this is a kind of a new one. I wanted to kind of show this match because I think it could be very, very fun. If you scroll, maybe take a look down here. I will just say, firstly, there are three, like this is the, fir the third round, of the round where all the big teams get put in, you know, the one we love when we're playing the lower league uh, uh, squads. But uh, <clears throat> there's three round of our national leagues in here. The funny thing is, we play one of them, Weymouth, 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 Weymouth. Then the, it's Solihull Moors and Bromley, and they play each other. So one of them is about to go through. I mean, that is amazing. What are the odds on that? And like I said, it's only these three that are here. So uh, yeah, we're going to play Weymouth, which should be very, very fun. I mean, take a look at their squad. I think we might have a chance. And uh, it's a bit of a shame that we're away. I would have loved to be in at home to share the money, well, more money with good old Weymouth. That would have been good for them as well. But uh, yeah, let's just see the schedule first because we played quite a few matches since the amazing nil-nil versus Borgia Um As you can see, we picked up a great win, 5-0, smashed Wolves. Wolves are having a terrible season. They're actually bomb. At least they were back then. Are they still bomb? Ah, well, almost. But uh, yeah, Newcastle win. Sure. Very comfortable, yes, yes, and Sheffield United, same, very comfortable, sure, let's pretend that. Um, Fulham was very comfortable, but they did make it exciting for a while there, but Everton away, we absolutely dominated. I don't know what Everton have been doing, they were so bad, they played terribly, they just didn't do anything, and I was really terrified of them, but um, yeah. You may notice a bit of a defeat in the year. We did play Hull in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal, and here you can see Hull is actually playing in the championship, which is a bit strange, right? We lost on penalties. I mean, we of course absolutely dominated the game, but we were we were pretty poor. I mean, we didn't even have that many chances. But I played a rotated squad as well, but still, still uh, a bit disappointing. But then again, I don't really care about that one, and maybe it's good for fitness that we don't have to play the latter rounds of that one. But um. Oh well, but uh, yeah, today we're going to play Weymouth, and we're actually going to do it right now. And this, uh, I guess I should say one thing, it is January, and I've made loads and loads of transfers. I mean, I, I signed like eight players, well, eight players were meant to be signed, and they all fell through because of the, the new rule of, like, you can only sign six, six under-21 players or something uh, every season. So that's fun, so now I have to do all the scouting again and all sorts, and I have to now actually be selective about who I actually buy. I can't just go out and buy all the youngsters, which I guess is, I don't know, it's probably a bit realistic, but um, I don't know. It's easier for me to just buy all of them and then hope for the best, but uh, yeah. Let's get into the match, because we are playing Weymouth, like I said, and we're going to basically rotate the entire squad, except for Stenhold, who is like, he's pretty much our only goalkeeper, so I'm going to have Leonard Jensen as right back, we're going to have this youngster, Emil Duque, as central defense alongside Kim Hansen. I guess we're not rotating him because, yeah, I want him to get some game time. Uh, our amazing left back, Alf Pilsen, is also going to play. Uh, midfield is going to be Chukwani, and then this geezer, the ball winner, the red card, the assister, we all know and love. Uh, he's going to play. Chukwani is not normally our starter, so he gets the start this time. Uh, Christian Rasmussen, our actual wonder kid, is going to be on the right. Um, Benjamin Jensen. Because I want to see more from him, and uh, Bongo has actually been playing quite a bit in the AMC role, so I want to see Benny Jensen in this one. <clears throat> this guy, who's, I don't know, I mean, he's fast, and uh, he does have a bit of potential, but he's played pretty well. Like, I've, I've played him a few matches here and there. Too uh, non-competitive. Uh, he did get a few assists or something. It says non-competitive. I guess I'm lying, but uh, he did play well, <laughs> I think. Um, and then Thijs Brandt up front, who's, um, well, a bit of a maybe man, but uh, you never know, but... Uh, 
Let's just get into the game because I think it's going to be an exciting one. As we uh, have to give number, sure. Let's give a number to that teaser. And um, yeah, let's see if it if the team talk thinks that we're underdogs. That would be pretty heroic. Uh, I don't know what that word is, but uh, it would be pretty funny. Uh, we are favorites. Should win comfortably. Yeah, sure. Let's just get out there and beat them. My players can adapt all sorts. Yes. Boom, and into the match we go. Oh. Um, I was gonna say something very clever and, but okay, okay, okay. They act, we actually cleared the ball. <laughs> I was worried they were just gonna score on the first highlight. That would have been amazing. But um, <clears throat> yeah, this is really a time to, for some of our players to shine, right? Some of the boys we haven't seen a lot from. This oh, is, is it gonna count? Oh, it is counting. Ulla Kas Ulla Christensen with his first goal of ever, I guess. Then for for the, at least for the senior squad, it was a good goal. Rasmussen with the assist. Yeah. He just smashes it in there, right? That's a proper width cross, then great header. And uh, yeah, one nil after three minutes. Hmm. And next highlight, of course, starts with a throw-in. So let's just. I mean, I mean, I'm not quite sure what was going on there, but Chupani now. We're doing some lovely, patient football here, and Jensen smashes it over, but it's pretty close. I, I mean, okay. Corner and uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not quite sure what was going on there. That was just, I mean, 11 minutes only, and another highlight. Look at, I mean, what? They somehow managed to clear that off the line. That was incredible. That definitely should have been a goal. Chukwani now. I mean, holy moly. We might have to just do this one as a one off episode because, uh, well, it does seem like it's going to take half an hour with all these highlights, but uh, we'll see. Okay, Weymouth now have it, has the ball. Are they going to cock it off? Probably, because we have more stars, remember, in reputation. So that means they can't pass it to their own players. That's how football manager works, remember? So we should... That was some great defending there from if Ifiniorum um, up to Charman. Ifiani. That is a sick little name he has. Back to Bailey now. McDonald. Kite. I mean, some great names in there. And then they just hoof it where... To absolutely no one really. Um, poor lads. I guess I, I completely forgot to even. Did I even? I didn't even like check their opposition. The opposition. What are they playing? So like a five-three-two. Well, let's do. I mean, you can see all the assistants have have been doing all sorts, but I want to go a bit hard on the wing backs. I I kind of like that. To go on with the corner now. To I'm not quite sure how it ended up at Benjamin Jens' foot, but it somehow did, and he scored his first goal this season. Yeah, oh, this is a funky angle. Chuk one is gonna. Ooh, I can barely see anything. Was it Brandt who actually headed it down, or was it just the defender? I guess we'll find out. I think it was the defender. Yeah, he didn't get an assist there, Mr. Brandt. Right. Well, that is half time, and uh, I mean, only two nil. It's probably not as exciting as you would have liked, but I mean, we've had the chances, and maybe we don't, we don't want to embarrass Weymouth too much, do we? We should even maybe give them a chance, right? They should have a shot at least. Come on, that. Tukwani with the... That was a devilish cross, by the way, but the guy with the funky name has made a penalty. That is not good. And Tukwani takes it himself, so he assisted himself there, I guess you could say. Yeah, assuming he scores, which he did. But I've got to do something funky here because, uh, yeah. Uh, set pieces, corners, um, oh, attack, and yes, let's get... Go forward. Let's get the goalkeeper up there. Oh. Because why not? I want still not to get, get a goal. Doom. And also, maybe we'll give them a little chance. Why not? Why not? I want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah, we don't need to see the penalty again. Oh, that is very congested down there. <laughs> I mean, we are pressing high. And apparently they actually play pretty well there. Now, Bevan is in. I mean, they... they yeah, that's the problem, though. They, they play wonderful, but then they... It, their final solution is just to launch it forward and we win the ball. That's a shame. Is it got another pen? I mean, Brandt just keeps going. And then he scores. Number 69, Thijs Brandt with the goal. I mean, that was like three penalties in one day, <laughs> you feel like. First, that tackle is insane. But then that's definitely a pen. That's another pen. <laughs> but he just keeps running. And then he's like, eh, just shoots from him impossible angle. What the heck? Great goal there. Oh, no. <laughs> it's another highlight immediately. Oh, I feel bad for them. But, you know, they'll love it. They'll love the experience of playing versus the might of 
random Danish regions <laughs> from the Premier League. I'm sure they're very excited. Chupani, that was, I mean, it was a strange finish, right? It looked like he don't, it didn't look like he shot it, it looked like he poked it in. Let's see that one again in slow motion. No? Hello? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it was just a bit slow there. Ulrich, so it's Ulrich Kestesen actually just driving it forward. And then he, does he? No, nah, okay, he does actually, he does actually volley it. I thought he was more of a pokey pokey. All right, well, 72 minutes gone. Let's make some changes, because why not? Let's get some other players involved, some other youngsters. Mr. Kulte can come on. I'm I'm not even that familiar with him. Let's make him box to box. Why not? I mean, I'll show you him for, for good sakes. He's more of a like a defensive midfielder kind of thing. But yeah, he's being trained in the midfield. He's a bit of potential about him. Uh, who else? Kaufman, should we give him? Let's just see, because we need to put the youngsters on. This guy. It's a bit of a strange one. Mr. Hetz Christian, not Anderson, but uh, Brandtrup. Uh, let's just put him out on the left. Where is he? Where, where is he? So, oh, even though, yeah, Ulla Christian is actually having a good game, but oh well. And let's get Kaufman up front. So, three new players that don't get a lot of game time, or any at all for the two youngsters at least. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, let's just put them on, because why not? All right, well, of course, another throw in results in a chance, I assume. Now, there we have it. Brandtrup is involved to Rasmussen. Is he gonna no now Leonard Jensen takes over? Oh there's so many so many conflicting names there, Jensen to Jensen, but Kaufman's goal is sadly disallowed and rightfully so. It was definitely offside. Which is a shame. I mean let's by all means see it again because I was too slow to skip click skip before it actually started. I mean it's safe to say that we've kinda dominated the match. Um to be expected, right? They are in the Vanarama National League. So great Great effort for them to... Oh, he actually does get his goal. Okay, well, grab to Kaufman. Off the post, and then he is fast on the rebound. Great little goal there. <clears throat> By all means, let's see it again. Is it Pilsen who crosses it? I already, I already forget. Then Kaufman, so he heads it in. Off the post, uh, at the bar, I mean. And then he, yeah, he's fast on the rebound. XG of four, four and a half. That is uh, not too shabby, is it? I mean... Very pleased with the result. I'm I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't see a corner with our goalkeeper storming up there. But uh, yeah. Oh well, maybe next time. But uh, yeah. Right. Well, that was pretty straightforward. But um, I noticed. So Solihull Moor beat Bromley. Well, good for them, right? So uh, they're still a Vanarama national team uh, in the FA Cup, which is pretty exciting for them. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, skip forward seven days and we'll play Tottenham, like my favorite team. So it's gonna be interesting. Oh, and isn't this just beautiful? I mean, our European golden boy, whatever the title is, is now injured for four to five weeks. Well, thank you for that. I mean, and Jensen is ill, so I guess we'll have to send him home. Um, not a great start. Oh, and it keeps on coming. So the real Jensen, that is Benjamin Jensen, our amazing AMC, is now injured as well, three to four weeks. I mean, this is just lovely, 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 as I'm getting all sort of, oh, I mean, why not? Let's make the draw. So, of course, who is in there? I mean, let's just do all of them. Sully Hull Moors it was. Where are we? So we play Hull. Well, I guess it's redemption time for the Carabao Cup uh, fiasco, but um, <clears throat> who did Sully Hull Moors get? Bournemouth, in a way. That's not that exciting for them. I mean, they would have loved, you know, United away or whatever, but Bournemouth, a very good team, and then... Not the biggest, uh, what, what is their uh, facilities? What's their, oh, you, you're taking, you're joking, right? 11,000 something? Okay, future plans. Planned, planned, what the heck? Is their stadium so tiny? I mean, I knew it wasn't like, you know, United or anything, but, oh well. I mean, still five days to go, so uh, yeah, stay tuned. Right. I just need to show you this. So because of the injury to Fagia, my coaching staff were so amazing to randomly suggest that I pull back this guy from loan. I completely forgot he even existed. So I was like, oh yeah, great idea. Let's get him back and let's start playing him because he's actually doing really well out on loan. He's now saying he's a bit concerned with his playing time and wants it to reflect the fact that he's good enough to be considered a regular starter. I'm sorry. I literally just pulled you back from loan so I could play you. I even told the media that, that I was going to play him. And we haven't played yet. What's going on? Let's see what he wants. Let's see what he says. Oh, I think it's fair. Blah, blah, blah. I haven't been playing much. Really makes me feel a lot better about it all. 
I get it. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. That was very, very productive. So thank you for wasting God knows how long of my time. But uh, yeah, I guess welcome Win to the team. Now I don't have to introduce him like that vigorously when I do the team squad selection in just a moment. Right, and we have the squad. I had to fiddle all sorts, of course, because literally every single player was changed. Well, except the goalkeeper and Hansen, but uh, yeah, and the back is going to be very familiar. Jakobsen, Kirsten, Sanson, Bolton. Oh, yeah, and Yule Scott is going to play today because, frankly, we are struck with injuries. You see how, like, Fakir got injured, yes. Benjamin Jensen got injured. Juan is injured as well. And Narty, Nelson, it's just one big clown fiesta of injuries. So, um, that's fun. But, uh, yeah, Yule Scott is going to start. Un Larsen and Damsko on the wings, Un go in behind our new guy, let's call him, uh, Jonas Wint, who is a very decent player, I would say, actually. Pretty potential, like, if you actually started the game and just played him all the time, I think you could um, develop really, really well. I mean, good first touch, passing and techniques, a bit of a deep line forward, which I don't necessarily like, at least not when you're playing one up front, but uh, good mental, right, and very solid. He's not, like, over-the-top amazing or anything, but, uh, yeah, solid, solid, solid. Of course, we're playing Spurs, which is pretty funny. I mean, I'm a Spurs fan, but uh, yeah, we also kicked off the season versus Spurs. We absolutely smashed them 5-1. And I, I guess we can show the league table because, I mean, we're... Okay, if we win today, we can go as high as second, which is where we were just, a, well, an hour ago in-game. But, uh, yeah, Tottenham are down there in 16th. I don't know what it is about them. They still have Harry Kane, Son Hume min and all that. I don't know. Maybe that's the problem. They still have all these old guards that are just not... Okay, I need to do a number. Let's give him... Can we give him 99? Is it available? Oh, it is. Let's do that. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, into the game. And yeah, I mean, this is the squad. Harry Kane, Sun Hyung Min, Lo Celso, Indombele, Reguilon, Dyer. I mean, they're still all there. And then, well, Prowse, Parrot, I mean, pretty darn good team, but I don't know why, it, why it's not working for them. So, um, but I mean, I'm not complaining. Well, I say all this, now they're probably going to smash me, right? Because that's how FM gods operate. But uh, let's hope not. Let's hope we just smash them, because apparently we can get them. Yes, this is apparently the first highlight. I mean, what is actually going on? Holson heads it to Damsko, nicely done. Okay, Yulsko is involved. Who's still a little bit inaccurate, but it said you could play him for 45 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll see at halftime if he needs to be pulled out. But um, yeah, of course, he been he really has been struggling all year with the... Oh, with, uh, with injuries, and it's just a shame. Some of our youngsters are have just not been playing, and it's quite a shame, a, a shame, a, a sad, whatever. Words. Win. I mean, maybe this is why they are playing like uh, so far down because they bought Onana, who's clearly on drug enhancing. There, he's taking the wrong drugs now. They're not drug enhancing. He's clearly smoking all sorts, so he's like, oh, because look at this, <laughs> straight to Von Larsen. Yeah, that is what you get when you take the wrong medicines, my friend. I mean, what an exhilarating first half. Literally nothing else has happened. So I'm glad that we did all sorts of waffling. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I'm not happy. I mean, we only had one chance, and that was because of Guanana's drug abuse, basically, which is not good enough. We need to create more. Spurs are sh shockingly bad. I almost did a square there, but I didn't. I saved it. I saved it. Right, well, 60 minutes gone, still nothing is happening, but I did, I am noticing Mr. Philip Bungard playing a 6.2, which is definitely not good enough, so let's put our wonder kid, uh, Christian Rasmussen, in there as a shadow striker. He does love that, so um, I love that he loves that, and he loves that I love that I, he loves, and yes, all that, and uh, yeah, did it even, okay, it did go through, <laughs> I, I thought I accidentally could cancel there, by, well, by accident, um, but uh, no, 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 as Paulson wins the ball, down to dump score. Just don't do anything, don't do an Onana here, that would be silly. Uh, Hansen just whacks it forward and win, win, or I guess you would say wind, right? Because it is a W after all. Oh, Son goes very close. I mean, us Danes just pronounce it win, even though it is a W. You could, I guess, pronounce it wind, why not? Wind, breaking wind, breaking bad, all, all sorts is bad. I mean, it does go with the theme of of the whole drug thing with Onana, so breaking wind and breaking bad? I don't know, I'm just waffling because this match is so boring. Oh, I just forgot, <laughs> Mr. Yusko is playing very badly and he's also knackered, so I did promise him only 45 minutes, or I didn't really promise him, but myself or whatever. You know what I mean, so let's get him up and get the 
the assist maker, ball winning, red card specialist in there. Of course, he does get a red card now. Be highly annoyed, but <clears throat> let's hope not. As I mean, we do have football match, I think, going on, but it's just so dull, isn't it? Like, what's actually going on? They just bounced the football. That was just shocking. What? They are worse than we are, which is, <laughs> says a lot, right? Thumbs go. I mean, Onana again. Yeah, he's definitely been smoking a pipe of sorts. Like, he is not, he's not clean. They need to, they need to do a blood t test or something on him, and not for the, uh, he would say, good reasons. Like, what is that? Where is he going? Definitely lost. He's on his way to his dealer or something. I mean, to be fair, it's such a boring match that, I mean, can you even blame him? As I'm going to put Robert Skull on the left back, because Paulson is struggling a little bit for fitness, so yeah, why not? Oh, Hansen just went through Mr. McNeil there. That is not good. Not good at all. I mean, at least it wasn't our ball winning dude. Um, so I guess there's that. What are we going to do here again? Can this guy play here? Probably not. He actually can, somehow. Yeah, let's just do that. And we'll put the ball winner guy down there as center defender. He does like that. I mean, he... Oh, let's just hope we don't get another... Oh, no, it's a straight highlight. Please don't. I was joking about the red cards earlier. Oh, that's sick from Boone last. <laughs> your, your amazing winger does that. And then we miss the header and McNeil just smashes it off the post. Why is this so tense now? I I know I said it was so boring the game, but I didn't mean I wanted to, to die of stress. Just end the game, lad. End the game. Work hard. Plan more. Do stuff. Yes. Not a single highlight afterwards. That is what you want to see. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm um, well done, that. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see where it actually does leave us in the league. So, yeah, so we are... I mean, we are top. What what happened with Liverpool there? I mean, they won the match. Oh, how did we... Oh, goal difference now. Oh, hang on a minute. So apparently we're just amazing. I mean, we don't have a top goal scorer, but... Uh, yeah, Peter Christiansen is up there in average rating, which is... I mean, he plays so well. Eight goals in eight appearances. Remember how he was amazing in the start? Then he got injured. Then he just came back. What was it? Form. Let's see. So he came back, played versus Wolves, scored two goals. Amazing. Got injured. So that's a shame, but uh, maybe he'll win the average rating award if that's an award because he's going to be injured forever. But um, yeah. Whew, that was a lot of talking. Uh, very, very fast. And uh, yeah. If you don't know, today is, I mean, I'm going to upload it today, so you probably will know. Uh, today's the day that your cup starts. And I'm planning on doing it like a bit of a prediction thing in Mijigi afterwards, if I don't sweat too much. But uh, yeah, hopefully I will do. Uh, so yeah, keep your eyes out for that one as well. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, I'm not quite sure. We'll, we'll come back for more. I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, press like, subscribe, all that. And uh, share with your pets and all sorts, because why the heck not? And uh, yeah, till next time.